morning, guys. Uh, today, we're going to talk about building a FX chain using Audacity that deals with the ACX requirements for audiobooks. If you come up to danatucker.com forward slash forum, uh, it'll bring you right to our community website. Uh, it's real simple to join. And from there, we're going to go down to our DAW forum, uh, which stands for Digital Audio Workstation. And we're going to click on Audacity. And then we're going to click on for the plugins needed for the Audacity concerning the ACX. These are the two plugins you're going to need to download. Okay, now this only works if you have version 2.3.1 or newer with Audacity. Okay, now if you come back up and I'll show you here uh, back into the Audacity forum. Uh, I've got a couple things up here on how to download and install Audacity and where to place your plugins in Audacity. Okay, so what you're going to do is uh, come right up in here. You're going to right mouse click these and uh, save uh, link as, and it's gonna put it on your desktop. From there, you're simply going to uh, copy these and place them into your plugin folder inside of Audacity. And this is where you installed Audacity. So let's go ahead and bring up Audacity. Now here I've got a short nine second clip and we're going to come down here and just highlight the whole thing by clicking here. So then I'm going to come up and analyze this. I've got my ACX check in my Nyquist folder inside of Audacity. And as you can see, we've passed here uh, with the peak level. Uh, the maximum is a negative three with the ACX. Uh, I set mine to around a negative 3.5. Our noise floor has passed well within range. Uh, our RMS level has failed. It is not within the required parameters. And our DC offset is 581. We're going to say OK. Now, you can go through here and you can use these filters or these plugins individually. But if you're going to do this a lot, the easiest thing for you to do is to simply build an FX chain. Okay? You're going to come to File, Edit Chains. Now, as you can see, I've already built one here. I'm simply going to remove it and say, yes, we can delete that. Now, you're going to click Add, and we're going to name it ACX. And we're going to say, OK. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to insert our equalization. And here it is. All these are uh, alphabetical. Then we're going to say edit parameters. This is what we want. We want this low roll off for speech and say OK. And then we say OK. The next thing we're going to insert is our RMS normalize. Now. Audacity comes with another filter called Normalize. That is not the one that you want. The ACX deals with RMS as far as their loudness, and that stands for root mean squared. Okay, so we want the RMS Normalize. We're going to click Edit Parameters. We're going to make sure we have this set at a negative 20. Remember, uh, the ACX requirements are between a negative 18 and a negative 23. So we're going to go with a negative 20 and say OK, and OK. Now, at this point, we're going to add a limiter. And here is our limiter. We're going to edit parameters. It's going to be a soft limit. This is default, default. We're going to set this to a negative 3.5. Easiest way to do this is just highlight it, negative. 3.5. Okay. Uh, the hold is 10 milliseconds. We're going to leave that. Apply makeup gain. No, we do not want to apply the makeup gain. We're going to say OK. And OK again. Now, the next thing we're going to insert is our DC offset. And there's our DC offset remover. Now, this is a factor default. There is no. You see where I click on it? Nothing. Okay. You cannot edit this plugin. It is what it is. So we say OK, and there is our chain. Now, 
make sure that you have these in the same order that I'm showing you in this video. This makes a great difference. And we're going to say, OK. So now that we have this, OK, this is your audio clip. So you're going to come here when you're finished all your editing and you finish doing everything. You're going to just click. It's going to highlight your whole track. You're going to come to File, Apply Chain. There's our ACX chain, Apply to Current Project. And boom, it's done. That's it, guys. Now let's come up here and let's analyze it. And now we've passed, passed, passed. Okay? We've got plenty of headroom for our, our noise floor. We've got uh, uh, 7.3 dBs. Uh, our peak level is a negative 3.2. Our RMS level is a negative 20.6. And our DC offset is now down to 3. Okay? So this clip meets the ACX requirements. Now, remember, guys, this is simply a guideline using the ACX check. It is not a guarantee. And you can only analyze, you know, uh, I think it's either three or four minutes at a time. So once you get your clip done, you would sit there or your chapter or whatever you're working on. You would simply come and spot check it. Now, I've only got nine seconds, but like I said, I'm pretty sure you can do up to like three or four minutes. You would simply highlight that area, come back to analyze. Now, see, here we've passed, but look at the noise floor now. Okay, this is what I'm saying. You've got to be able to spot check all your audio. Look at the DC offset. And I can't tell you why it does this. Okay. But like I said, all you can do is to get a general idea. That's one of the things I do not like about Audacity, but so many people use it. So I'm going to do my best to tell you what I know about it. Now, see, here everything's passed, passed, passed again. All right. Now we're at the, the, the last number is a nine. So it, that's how you build the chain. Okay. You know, if, if, because if you don't do this, then let's undo all this. Then you're going to have to come in here and highlight this. And then go and find each individual filter. Set that filter. And then apply it. And you're going to have to do this all the way through. And like I said, it is just so simple to come up here and apply that chain. Now, the last thing I want to leave you with is simply this. Uh, I'm, I'm fixing one house to move into, and I'm clearing my other house to get it ready to go on the market. I'm using a Shure SM57. I'm close miking. I've got nothing in this room. There's no bed. There is no uh, dressers. There is nothing but four bare walls. Okay? And my computer and my monitor with my desk. No noise reduction. We've used no noise reduction whatsoever. So if I wanted to use noise reduction, if I needed to, I would then do it at this time. I would come in here, effect. Noise reduction. Get noise profile. Select the whole file. Effect. Noise reduction. Now I've got mine set on uh, it's going to reduce at 10 dBs. Sensitivity is 10.5. Frequency smoothing is 8. I'm going to say OK. You see everything just shrink a little bit. So let's go ahead and analyze this one last time. And then we've passed, passed, and passed. Now, as you can see, the only thing that's really increased or decreased. Actually, it has been our noise floor. So now instead of a negative uh, 67, we're at a negative 76. Okay? And our DC offset has reduced by 2. That's it, guys. All right? Take care. God bless. And we are out of here.